Today I'm going to show you how to select fur or hair in Adobe Photoshop. First let's remove this background of the model. So let's open your lasso tool from the toolbar. And create a loose selection around the subject. Now with the selection active, go to Select. And open your Select and Mask window. Open the view, and select the overlay mode. Drag the opacity slider all the way to 100%. Select your Refine Edge Brush tool. And just paint on the edges of the model, or areas where the background is peeking through. Now open the Properties panel. From this drop-down menu, choose Layer Mask. Then press OK. Hold the Alt key, and click on the Mask thumbnail, of the Layer 0. Now you can see here there are areas that are transparent or blurry. So to fix this, let's select your brush tool from the toolbar, and with a soft round brush. Open the mode list at the top, and select overlay. So that when we paint on the edges, the outside or background will not be affected. Now I'll make the flow, 20%. Then make sure foreground color is white. And paint with white, the edges of the subject, or areas where there is transparent. Now hold the Alt key again, and click on the mask thumbnail, to return it back to normal. Next, let's put a new background here, by going to File. Place Embedded. Then place your new background. Adjust the size and position. Hit Enter once you're satisfied. Now drag the new background, and drop it below the subject or layer 0. Let's zoom the image, and you can see here, that there are dark gray colors in the hair, on the edges of the model. So we can fix these edges, select the layer 0 or this subject layer. Then change the blending mode of this layer from normal to screen. Now you can see the changes here. Make three copies of it, by pressing Ctrl J. Select the three layers by holding down Shift key. Then go to Layer and group layers. Let's name it, Screen. Select the top layer, or the third copy. And return the blending mode of this layer to normal. Let's go back to the layer. And group layers. Double click on this, and rename it, Normal. Click on the mask icon, to create a mask. Now let's return the blending mode of the brush to normal. Make sure foreground color is black. And you just paint the edges, to remove the dark gray colors. Now you can see here that the hair has been selected properly, and there is no dark color on the edges. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching.